everyone, this is Megan Lamp. I'm back with another quick demo video for you. This one is on self-abdominal massage. This is part two in a new series on videos that I'm going to be posting on how to care and nurture ourselves both physically and mentally and emotionally. While we're distancing and some of us are in quarantine, it's a great time to uh, add some tools into your toolbox of healing and learn to take care of yourself at home a little bit better. As I went back and thought about my practice, this has always been a goal of my practice to help folks to take care of themselves at home and realize that our natural state is health and balance. And what we're gonna do here, both with the abdominal breathing and with all of the videos on self handwork are going to be to remove the obstacles to allowing the body to reveal its true state of balance and health. So we're gonna start at the energetic core of our system, which is a few finger widths or a few inches below the navel. Go ahead and just kind of intuitively rest your hand where it feels natural there. And just start with some deep inhales and exhales right into the abdomen. Again, bringing us out of a shallow fight or flight breath and back down into a more grounded, open and core type of breathing. We know in Asian medicine that the abdomen is the root of our system. And if things aren't moving, if chi is not moving in the abdomen, no modality of healing will be effective in a sustainable way. So we're gonna start at the navel. What you're doing is just allowing your hands to rise with the inhale. And as you exhale, the body will naturally welcome your hands in a little bit deeper. And you're just gonna gently palpate or touch around the perimeter of the navel. You can be in the navel if you like, but we're, for this series, we're gonna work around the perimeter of the navel. And you're looking for things like hot and cold spots, tender spots, little lumps, places that feel hollow. This can be both diagnostic, so you know where you're holding things and what you need to work on, and you're treating yourself at the same time. Again, rising with the inhale and allowing your hands to be welcomed a little bit further into the body as you exhale. If you notice that you're pressing too deep and your body is resisting against your touch, then you're just working a little too deep. You're not trying to accomplish anything. You're just simply waking your organs up and improving blood flow and oxygen to the area and getting chi moving. So as we work down the center line, which we call the conception vessel, you're gonna come up at the bottom against the pubic symphysis bone. And you wanna go just under the ridge of that bone, gently back and forth. If you feel any bulging or soreness or prolapses uh, far down here, take a deep inhale, scoop under the prolapse and raise it up on the exhale and you may need to repeat that a few times. Next, we're gonna come up here where the uh, costal ridge on either side comes together. You'll feel a little bone here. It's called the xiphoid process and you don't wanna press on that. It will be quite tender. We kinda of wanna come just below that. Now, if you're having um, a little bit of anxiety, trouble sleeping, maybe some mania feelings related to what's going on right now, you're gonna notice that this area is probably quite contracted and tender. There's almost an energetic feeling of protecting it. Again, you don't wanna avoid the area if that's the case, just be tender and gentle with it. And slowly work your way down. When you get halfway in between the xiphoid process and the navel, this is where the digestive energy tends to stagnate and get stuck. And you can feel a little bit sometimes of a lump or a real tender spot here. Again, the same strategy, don't avoid it. Just take a few extra deep breaths and work with it. We're gonna to come to the left next, which is the stomach side. And you wanna use your hand in the shape of a C or your other hand at a 45 degree angle. Again, remember the pressure is light. And as you exhale, you can get just under the tip of the costal ridge there. That's kind of our guidepost, working our way slowly down the side. You might feel some gurgling or some reliefs. At some point, you're gonna feel like the top layer of your onion is peeled off. Your breath will loosen and deepen and open up. 
Again, your digestion will start to move. You might hear some gurgling and your mind gently starts to clear and ground. Again, you can use a 45 degree angle or a C. And on the exhale, just under the tip of the, co of the uh, costal ridge here. Down into the gallbladder, up here is liver, down into the gallbladder. Again, if you have a lot of feeling of distension, fullness or tenderness, in the gallbladder area. Don't push it, just be gentle. Usually, as we move out into the side body, you'll notice that one side or the other is a little shorter. So if you measure from the ribs to the inside of the ASIS here, you'll notice that one side is usually a little bit shorter. You might be able to see on this video that for me, the right side is almost pulled up and it's a little bit shorter. So you know that's the side when you're stretching that you wanna focus on opening that side body. In the meantime, it, you can also double check that by using your thumbs to press in. And you might feel that the, the muscles are a little tighter on one side uh, in these transverse abdominus muscles, or that there's just some more tenderness and contraction. You can use the back of your hands and your fingers for this next part. You wanna come right all the way into the flanks on the side body. And just, again, you don't wanna press hard on your rib cage, but just kind of some nice round circles to sort of welcome some movement. This area is a really important area energetically. It's where the digestive energy rises up to meet the breath and the lung energy, and together they form the chi for the body. Another way to do this is with gentle pinching and kind of stretching, wiggling motion here to loosen up the side body. As we finish, we wanna to come to the inside, the ASIS here, right inside this bone. And there's a little valley inside. You might need just a touch more pressure down there, but again, still working with real gentle pressure, allowing the body to welcome you in on the exhale. If you have tight scapula, shoulder, lateral neck pain, the ASIS here in area in here might need a little extra attention. We're gonna finish back at the root of our system with a few deep abdominal breaths. That is a great way to start the morning by gently waking up your organs anytime that you feel like you need a reset um, or if you're having some compromised digestion, always a great time to come back to the core. Feel free to contact me via my website, acculemp.com, if you have any questions about this. Later in the week, the next video will be an alternative version of abdominal handwork with a ball. And the following video will be work in our chest and clavicle area for some emotional release and lung support. Thanks for joining.